Okay, in this final video in the series of logic gates and Boolean algebra, we're going to make sure you're familiar with the Boolean identities and de Morgan's law to manipulate and simplify Boolean expressions. So de Morgan's law essentially allows us to replace either a logical function of an and or an or, given certain changes to an equation. In essence, it's saying that not A and B is exactly the same or equivalent as not A or not B. Or to put it another way, that this circuit diagram is exactly the same as this circuit diagram. Now you could try drawing out the truth tables for these two circuit diagrams and you'd find they give exactly the same outputs. We could also look at it the other way round. So we could this time say not A or B is exactly the same or is equivalent as not A and not B. Which is the same as saying that this circuit diagram is exactly the same as this circuit diagram. So to summarise, this in essence is de Morgan's law. Now, just in case you're not aware, we have a handy cheat sheet for all the Boolean algebra symbols, their truth tables and de Morgan's law available on the Craig and Dave student site. So feel free to download that yourselves. What we're going to look at now is how we can use de Morgan's law to simplify various Boolean expressions and why it's one of the most useful laws for doing so. So, firstly, just to get our head around how de Morgan's law works, let's introduce you to some simple steps, in essence an algorithm, which gets us from here to here. Now, it's exactly the same algorithm can be used the other way around. So, the first thing we're doing is changing ors for an and or vice versa. And the reason we're doing this is if you have a mixture of ors and ands in a Boolean expression, it can become difficult to simplify. If you can replace the ors and the ands so that all the terms in the expressions are just ands or just ors, then the expression can often be simplified more easily. So here we have um, our or. We want to get to this expression here. So the first thing we do is change the or to an and. So that's our first step. Now we knot the terms on either side of this operator. So we knot the and and we knot the b. Now we knot everything that's changed. So that's the entire expression. Now at this point, you can see we've got quite a lot of what we call double negation. So I can say not A, or I can say not not A. Well, not not A is the same as A. They cancel each other out. So we can simplify this now by cancelling out the double negation which we see here. And we end up with this. We can now remove any um, redundant brackets. And as you can see, we've successfully turned this statement, not A or B, into not A and not B. It's exactly the same expression in terms of the logic of a truth table, but we've managed to change this or into an and. And this could be really useful, as I said earlier, when trying to simplify a Boolean expression. So let's actually give that a go. So here we have a Boolean expression. It reads not, not A, or not A and B. And we are able, using various rules, to simplify this expression all the way down to A and B. In essence, if you drew the truth table out for this expression and this one, they're exactly the same thing. So let's look at de Morgan's law and let's just step through this. Well, the first thing we see is that we have an or here and an and here. And as we said, if we can have all ands or all ors in an expression, then it can become much simpler to simplify. So we're going to use de Morgan's law to change this or into an and. So we'll step through the algorithm again. We change 
the or for an and. So you can see we've done that here. Still following the algorithm of De Morgan's law, we now knot the terms on either side of the operator. Well, the terms on either side of the operator are the A and the not A and B, so we've knotted those. We now knot everything that's changed, so that's the entire expression has changed, so we knot that over the top. Of course, we have loads of double negation. The entire expression is not knotted, so we can get rid of that, and the terms inside have been not knotted, so we can get rid of that. So you can see here, we've got rid of all of this knotting. The expression is already becoming much simpler. We can get rid of unnecessary brackets, and you can see now we've ended up with A and A and B. Well, because we've managed now to get all AND statements in here, we can simplify the A and A, because of course A and A is exactly the same as simply saying A. They cancel each other out. So we can get rid of one of these, and we end up with our simplified expression of X equals A and B.